Good morning everyone. I haven't done a video in a while. Really don't do much. Because I can. Anyway, I'm making baked beans today. I've already soaked them overnight. And now I'm boiling them until they get soft, you know. If you don't boil them after you soak them, they're just too hard when you bake them and they're not too good. Well, I don't stand here with a camera for this whole process because they got to boil another 25-30 minutes anyway. And uh, I'll, I'll just piece this together and show you how I do it. The next thing I add, I use two onions to two pounds of beans. Um, some people use one. If you don't like them, don't use any. If you like them a lot, use three. I put one onion that size to about the pound of bean. I've got two pounds boiled, so I'll use two onions. Get to the point of flavoring our beans. Okay. I'm going to use bacon because I have some. Salt pork works good. Bacon works good. I don't like the salt pork. I get in the stores. It's not like real salt pork used to be. I don't know. I got to try going to a butcher house and see if they could. They've got it. We're a real slab of nice fat salt pork. Okay, I use a little ketchup, mustard, salt, pepper, and because I'm from Vermont, I do use maple syrup. You can use molasses. Is good. I would imagine you could use honey. I've never done it, but I don't see why you couldn't. Pour some honey in there and sweeten them up. Someday I may try that. Anyway, I don't measure. Comes to the mustard, went into the pot. I just do this. That's nowhere near enough. I just do this. Sounds a little gross. And you can use dry mustard. You know, you use about anything you want. Mustard. Same thing with the ketchup. Now, I could add some more to that. When I when they get to cooking, I can give them a try and add some more. The salt and pepper is the same way. I don't do it now. I do it once the beans are in there and kind of do it to taste. The syrup, same thing again. I can't open this with one hand. Same thing, dump some in. Yeah, that doesn't look too bad. Now when the beans are done boiling, I'll dump them in and I'll add the bacon. Then I cook them on my wood stove because I can. You can see, I've added the beans. I, I use a little bit of bean water. Some people don't, they drain it all off, but I use a little bit of water in there. I've added the bacon, give it a stir up, and I'm going to put the cover on, take it down, and put it on the wood stove. I'll try to get a little footage of that. That's always fun. And it's a warm day here in Vermont for this time of year. It's actually about 28, 30 degrees, so I don't have to keep much of a fire going, which works really good to cook with a Dutch oven on the wood stove. Well, I'll get back to you in a few minutes. There's the Dutch oven on the wood stove. The old hound dog sitting there. She doesn't like cameras. I don't know. I think she's wanted by the FBI. Anyway, there's the Dutch oven on the stove. Beans, that. Now for today, I don't know if I can do this all one-handed or not. Actually, all I'm going to do to start with is just stir this up. Um, I don't want much of a fire. I'm going to throw one in for now and burn some of those coals down. I wanted to add, but then I didn't film draining the hot water off. It was too hard to do one-handed. And it'd be too hard to set a tripod up to really catch it all. Another person would have worked great. But I wanted to add, there's no wrong way to cook beans. Once you soak them, 24 hours, I usually soak 
the soldier beans, probably the smaller ones. I don't know, probably just long. I always buy soldier beans. Once you soak them, 24 hours, boil them an hour or so, and if they're soft, when you take one, tin is nobody's watching. You can see they're soft now. See, you know, once they're soft like that, I put them in the pot. Put them on here. I'll let them cook on there most of the day. I'll keep an eye on it. I may add some water on it. But I'll let them slow cook most all day. And it, you know, but there's no wrong way. Add what you want. Experiment. Geez, I, I mean, I think you could do most anything to sweeten them. They were what? Uh, they were a staple for hard country traveling for many years in this country product I'm gonna let them simmer I moved them up to the higher place on the stove and it's they've been cooking oh, seven eight hours they've been cooking away and uh, they're a little bit on the runny side they'll firm up I probably will take them off when I go to bed. Another hour or so, I'll go to bed. And I'll take them off the stove, and tomorrow morning I'll put them on. And then tomorrow for dinner, we're gonna have baked beans. Maybe I'll make a brown bread to go with them. I don't know. But the the, the flavor's pretty good. I tried them. There, baked beans cooked on my wood stove.